What's up, WordPress Warriors? Uh, it's Patrick Gallagher. It is uh, Monday, the 10th of August, and um, this video uh, is probably going to be a bit all over the place, but um, I think that uh, it's worth uh, me following up and pointing a couple things out um, because I've, I've written something in the group. Um, it resonated with a lot of people. It got shared around, um, and I said you know some pretty strong things that I want to qualify uh, now. Um, definitely not walk back. But uh, for those of you that don't know, if you've been living under a rock for the last three days, um, the themes review team uh, dropped the ban hammer on uh, Astra, uh, which powers roughly a million websites, uh, for what they deemed to be a violation of um, their code of conduct, basically. Um, the specifics of it, I'll link to this article, the specifics of it are effectively that they had undisclosed affiliate relationships with various plugin developers such that if you upgraded to paid versions of those plugins, they were getting affiliate kickbacks. For those of you that don't know um, basic uh, FTC laws here in the United States, that shit is not kosher, okay? And so um, that's a problem in and of itself. Uh, my article or my post that I pushed into our group, um, I put out as a byproduct of the apologies, uh, which is to say false half apologies that I saw coming from the CEO of Astra. And then uh, I called him a duplicitous asshole. Okay. And so I want to apologize for that because I don't know the man. I've never met him. Uh, there are people that I have met uh, that I do know who have done business with him, uh, who respect him as an individual. So it's inappropriate of me to just name call. Um, what I observed was a repeated behavior of duplicitous responses. And if you are duplicitous over and over and over and over and over again, I might call you an asshole. Uh, that's just how I work. Um, so I apologize for that. But what I want to talk about uh, briefly is, um, well, let, let me let me actually offend an entirely separate group of people, like a million people. So um, before I got really serious into WordPress, I worked for a real estate company uh, here in Greater Lansing. They had hundreds of real estate agents um, across like five different offices, and I was basically the entire IT department, okay? And so uh, if you remember around 2008, we had this whole massive housing bubble crisis, okay? And a lot of the stone throwing that happened around that, a lot of the uh, finger pointing, a lot of the blame was laid directly at the feet of the so-called um, predatory lenders, okay? People who were handing out mortgages um, to people who totally should not have qualified for mortgages and getting, you know, people were buying houses that they shouldn't have been able to afford, okay? What never really got discussed around that time, and it still hasn't ever really been brought out to light, is that you had roughly a million plus realtors, um, real estate agents, um, members of the National Association of Realtors uh, at that time who were handling all of these transactions. They were helping the people on the buy side and they were helping the people on the sales side. Well, if you, if you follow what realtors say, um, and you follow just their their various banter, uh, you know, just directly or through social media, you'll occasionally hear, you know, you'll hear them talking about how they adhere to the code, okay? We adhere to a higher standard. We adhere to the code. And the code is the code of ethics, which is a piece of paper which they sign after the end of their entire one whole week of schooling that they have to go through, go through in order to become a member of the national, you know, a licensed uh, real estate agent and a member of the National Association of Realtors. They have to go to school for a whole week and then they sign a piece of paper that basically says, I will behave ethically all the time. And they actually cite this thing as though, you know, they're ethical because they signed a piece of paper. All right. And um, so anyway, what what's not real popular and what nobody really wants to talk about is the fact that it's like, yeah, there was a whole bunch of predatory lenders who were giving people mortgages that they never should have. But there was also a million realtors that were 
conducting all of these transactions and seeing like there's no way that this person that works at mcdonald's there's no way that they're going to be able to afford this mortgage after the first year of the arm runs out and the mortgage 5x's this doesn't make sense but i'll help them buy it anyway and i'll hope that they flip it for another hundred thousand six months from now before the mortgage actually does go up and there was tons of that activity going on and so i guess what i want to point out here is that when we all just turn a blind eye to people behaving really unethically, eventually bad shit will happen, okay? And so um, so this morning, Sujay uh, uh, from Astra put out his open letter apology where he actually did what I recommended from the beginning, which was just own it and apologize. Um, I don't think he went far enough. Um, but my problem now is, is that seemingly, from what I'm seeing in all these different various Facebook groups, um, it's like, oh, well, you know, water under the bridge, you know, every, all is forgiven. It, clearly they've learned their lesson. Um, and to that, I would say bullshit. That is complete unmitigated bullshit. No one has learned any lesson here other than millions of dollars of white collar crime amongst friends is okay with WordPress and the, and the larger WordPress ecosystem. And, um, and I just don't think that that is okay. And so the, the way that the theme review theme, the theme review team was going to shut them down for five weeks, I thought, great, do that and get Ocean WP and get everybody else, get everybody that's involved with it and shut all of them down for five weeks and get an accounting of all the ill gotten gains and figure out something to do with that, you know? And so I don't know who takes charge in all of this because clearly there's a bunch of people who just want to back up and be real quiet and clover their eyes and their ears and their mouth for a while and just hope that this whole thing blows over um, but i don't think that that's the right answer i think that there needs to be someone in the leadership position of i don't know maybe automatic who steps up and says yeah we're actually going to fund an independent audit of this entire thing because this was a very very large scale affiliate scheme perpetuated across millions of websites in the WordPress ecosystem. And for everybody to just say, oh, well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have just been Astra and, you know, they've apologized, so everything's okay. No, 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 no. This is a big deal. Um, and I, for one, think that the WordPress community deserves more. And for people to just back up and say, well, you know, not my problem, or, you know, that the, the, you know, the review theme team was too hard on them and we'll have to change things and we'll figure it out. No, no, no. Someone needs to take accountability. Some, there needs to be a line drawn in the sand where we as a community collectively say, this is unacceptable and apologies alone are not enough. Because literally, this is why you have to have organizations like the EPA and the FTC, because if you don't have organizations like that, certain actors will just rip communities asunder, okay? They will, they will steal and pillage with impunity. And so for us to just take a step back and say, well, you know, we've all learned a lesson here, shucks, you know, we'll try and do better next time that shit just doesn't fly, in my opinion. And so my suggestion to the powers that be, who've already overturned the five week um, ban from the, from the theme review team, um, maybe take a bigger role in figuring out a better, more cohesive answer than just, yeah, this is a violation of our code. I think the, the real estate example, I guess, is a pretty good example of, of that. When you have lots of people who are all doing bad things and everybody just sort of goes, well, everybody else is doing bad things, so I'm going to get mine. Um, eventually you stack up and you have like a global economic collapse. And so let's try to not have that happen, I guess.